Today we have some amazing new images to show you, courtesy of the Nova Sea Lander, also known as Odysseus. This is a private lunar lander that was launched on February 15, 2024, as part of a historic mission to deliver science and technology payloads to the lunar surface. This mission is not only the first U.S. lunar landing in over 50 years, but also the first to use a liquid methane and liquid oxygen-fueled engine in spaceflight. In this video, we will show you some of the stunning images of the Earth that the lander captured shortly after its launch, and explain what they reveal about the lander's design and performance. So, if you are curious about this new odyssey to the moon, stay tuned and keep watching. The Nova Sea Lander is one of the first landers to participate in NASA's Commercial Lunar Payload Services program, which aims to deliver science and technology payloads to the lunar surface using commercial partners. The lander was developed by Intuitive Machines, a Houston-based company that specializes in autonomous systems and space exploration. It was launched on a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket from Cape Canaveral, Florida, on February 15, 2024 along with another commercial lunar payload services lander, the Mastin XL-1. The launch was successful, and the lander separated from the rocket about 10 minutes after liftoff, and took these stunningly amazing images of our home. Then, it began its journey to the moon, which will take about seven days. One of the most remarkable features of the Nova Sea lander is its engine, which uses liquid methane and liquid oxygen as propellants. This is the first time that such an engine is used in spaceflight, and it has several advantages over conventional engines that use hydrazine or kerosene. For one, liquid methane and liquid oxygen are more environmentally friendly and less toxic than hydrazine or kerosene. They are also more efficient and can provide more thrust and control. Moreover, liquid methane and liquid oxygen can be potentially produced on the Moon or Mars using water and carbon dioxide which means that they could enable future missions to refuel and reuse their spacecraft. The lander successfully commissioned its engine shortly after launch and performed a series of maneuvers to adjust its orbit and trajectory. The engine will also be used for the final descent and landing on the moon. The lander is expected to land on the moon on February 22, 2024, near the lunar equator, in a region called Oceanus Procellarum, or the Ocean of Storms. This is a large and flat area that has been the site of several previous lunar missions, such as Apollo 12, Surveyor 3, and Chang'e 5. It will use its engine and sensors to autonomously navigate and select a safe landing site, avoiding any hazards such as craters, rocks, or slopes. It will also communicate with a relay satellite called Lunar Pathfinder, which was launched by another commercial lunar payload services partner, Astrobotic, in January 2024. The relay satellite will enable the lander to send and receive data and commands from Earth, and also relay data from other lunar missions. The lander will operate for about two weeks in sunlight, and will perform its payloads and experiments during that time. It will also take images and videos of the lunar surface and environment, and send them back to Earth. However, it will not survive the lunar night, which lasts for about 14 Earth days, and will freeze and power down. But it will leave behind a lasting legacy, as it will help pave the way for human exploration of the moon as part of NASA's Artemis program, which aims to land the first woman and the next man on the moon by 2028. It will also contribute to the scientific and technological advancement of lunar exploration, and provide valuable data and insights for future missions. The Nova Sea Lander is carrying a total of 12 payloads and experiments to the Moon, six from NASA and six from private entities. These payloads and experiments cover a wide range of scientific and technological topics and aim to advance our knowledge and capabilities for lunar exploration. Here are some of the highlights of the payloads and experiments on board the Nova Sea Lander. The first payload is LN1, or Lunar Node 1 Navigation Demonstrator a communication and navigation node that will enable autonomous navigation for future landers and rovers. It will use a software-defined radio to transmit and receive signals from Earth and other spacecraft, and it will also use a laser retro-reflector to measure the distance and position of the lander. 
The second one is Scalp SS, or stereo cameras for lunar plume surface studies. A pair of cameras that will capture high-resolution images and videos of the lander's plume effects on the surface, such as dust, erosion, and cratering. It will also monitor the thermal and optical properties of the surface before and after landing. The third payload that the lander will have on board is ROLSEs, or radio wave observations at the lunar surface of the photoelectron sheath. A suite of instruments that will measure the space weather and lunar surface interactions, such as plasma, electric fields, and magnetic fields. It will also study the effects of solar storms and cosmic rays on the lunar environment and the lander's electronics. The fourth one is NDL, or Navigation Doppler LiDAR for precise velocity and range sensing. A LiDAR system that will use laser pulses to measure the lander's velocity and range during the descent and landing phases. It will also provide high-precision navigation and hazard avoidance information for the lander. The fifth payload is LRA, or Laser Retro Reflector Array, a passive device that will reflect laser beams from Earth or orbiting spacecraft, allowing precise measurements of the lander's location and the lunar orbit and rotation. And finally, the RFMG, or Radio Frequency Mass Gauge, a device that will use radio waves to measure the mass of the lander and its remaining propellant, providing vital information for the lander's operation and performance. The Nova Sea Lander is a remarkable spacecraft that represents a new era of lunar exploration, where private companies and NASA work together to deliver science and technology payloads to the lunar surface. As we mentioned, it is expected to land on the moon on February 22, 2024, and will operate for about two weeks in sunlight. It will then become a permanent part of the lunar landscape and a testament to the human spirit of discovery and innovation. We hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new about the Nova Sea Lander and its mission to the moon. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Also, let us know in the comments what you think about the Nova Sea Lander. Thanks for watching.